Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching my videos. Today I'm going to share with you some Montessori inspired fall theme activities for preschool children. Whether you're a homeschool mom, a grandma helping out on the weekend, or a parent of a preschool child, these hands-on activities are perfect. As usual, I will be sharing some free printables with my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a like. This first activity is a literacy activity. As usual, I have a basket full of books. Most of my books are from the library or from the thrift store. I have this book on autumn. I like to include nonfiction books. I have the Very Busy Squirrel. We really like this book. It has really, really cute pictures. I have a book in Spanish, El Otoño Ya Está Aquí. We're going to read this one too. We have Autumn Leaves. I also have a nonfiction book on spiders. Since we are going to do a couple of activities with spiders, we're going to be reading about spiders. This is a really cute book. This is called, this is a taco instead of a squirrel. Super cute book. We're going to read The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. We're going to read one of our favorite books, The Oak Inside the Acorn. This is by Max Lucado. And we're going to talk a little bit about the human body and we're going to figure, we're going to talk about the, uh, the skeleton. So we're gonna talk about our bones. I'm using this uh, book by Scholastic. There are so many benefits to reading to your preschooler every day. Reading to your child is proven to improve cognitive skills. When you read out loud to your child, it provides them with background knowledge and this helps them make sense of what they see and what they hear. Reading to preschoolers improves the functioning of the brain it increases vocabulary, it sharpens their memory, it fosters concentration. This is why reading to your child is so important. This next activity, we are going to be forming our letters. I'm using this free printable. This is from totschooling.net. We're going to be using some candy corn and I'm using my sandpaper letters. If you did not watch my video, my last video, I showed you how you can make your own sandpaper letters. So we are going to form the letter L using candy corns. This is such a fun way to practice forming our letters. These next three activities are also from totschooling.net. These are fine motor skills activities. We are going to be putting the candy corn to be the leaves on the tree. As your child is picking up the candy corn and putting them on the tree, they're using, using their little pincer grasp. This is a great fine motor skills activity. This is also a free printable from totschooling.net. This is a number quantity activity. We're also going to be using our candy corns. We're going to count three, one, two, and three. Now if you don't have candy corns, you can use whatever you have at home. 
If you have little apples, that would work just as well for five. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. This next set of activities, I got this free printables from twistynoodle.com. This one is a do a dot for a pumpkin. And there's also one for candy corn. And your child can also trace the words at the bottom, candy corn do a dot. And they also have a scissors practice activity. Super cute. Now for the do a dot, you can use the do a dot markers or you can put the, the printable in one of these pocket protectors and if you want to use some of these uh, circle stickers, you can do that. Have your child place the stickers and you can reuse this printable over and over. This activity is a candy corn pattern activity. This is also a free printable from twistynoodle.com. I went ahead and cut the little pieces and so we're going to work on the pattern. We're going to look at the candy corn. I like to look at the bottom part. It's orange, brown, orange, brown, orange. What comes next? Brown. Then the next set is a pumpkin, candy corn, pumpkin, candy corn, pumpkin. Com what comes next? The candy corn. And so on. For this next activity, I created this printable. We're going to put some spiders on these lines. We're going to see how many spiders fit on the line. I'm using some plastic spiders. I got this package. There were little rings. I just cut the bottom off and this is what we're going to use for this activity. We're going to put the spiders on the line and we're going to see how many spiders fit on the line. Then we're going to count them and put a number next to our spiders. One, two, three, four. So I am using magnetic numbers. You can use whatever it is you have at home. The last line has seven spiders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a free printable and I'll go ahead and link it below. I also created this printable to see how many candy corn fit on the line. For this next activity, I created this printable. We're going to be working with patterns. I'm using some of these little acrylic fall. We have leaves and acorns and pumpkins. So we are going to work on this pattern. We have leaf, acorn, leaf, acorn, leaf, what comes next? Acorn. This next pattern, we're working with the leaves. Green, yellow, green, yellow, green. What comes next? Yellow. We're really enjoying this little acrylic, little leaves and acorns, so cute. But if you don't have something like this, you can always use pom-poms or whatever you have at home. For this one, I'm using some of these little mini erasers, the apples. I have green, apple, red, green, red, green. What comes next? Red. This next activity is a matching activity. I created this printable. I have some leaves. We're going to say the name of the leaf 
and then we're going to use a marker and match our leaves. So birch, this is a birch leaf. So then we're just going to match oak and so on. For this next activity, I am going to be using this Alphabet Acorns. These are from Learning Resources. I really, really love these guys. They have the letter, the uppercase letter on the outside. On the inside of the lid, it has a lowercase letter and each acorn has a little object that begins with the letter. So for C, we have car. Super cute, y'all. For B, we have a boat. So what I am going to do is I am going to have my grandson pick the acorns. We're gonna look at the letter we're going to go through the house and we're going to look for a toy or an item that begins with the same letter. Just a fun way to review letters, beginning letter sound, and we're also moving around. So my grandson's going to pick the acorn. We're going to look at the letter on the outside, the lowercase letter on the inside, the letter D for dinosaur. Then we're going to go through the house and look for an object that begins with the letter D. I set up a tray. I put some letters. So when he finds the object, like for example, dog, he's gonna come and place a little dog by the letter D. Then we're going to get another acorn, the letter C. C for car. So we're gonna go through the house, we're going to look for something that begins with the letter C. When he finds it, he's gonna come, bring it back and place it by the letter, and so on. Now, if you don't have the alphabet acorns from learning resources last year i showed you how to make these with this little square snack containers these are from the dollar store there's four for a dollar i went ahead and put an uppercase letter on the outside i put this with velcro so you can take it off and reuse the little box I have the lowercase letter on the inside and I put an object that begins with that letter inside the little box. So this is the letter A. This is the letter B. And I put a little bear on the inside. Super fun way to just um, make those little acorns. We have those little boxes. We have the uppercase letter on the outside. We have the lowercase letter on the inside. And you put an object that begins with that letter. Very inexpensive. This next activity, I went ahead and put together this in these little containers that I already had. It's a number quantity activity. I went around the house and I looked for toys that we already had. And so we're going to be looking at our little container. We're gonna open it. There's a number one, it says one pair. We're gonna go ahead and open that. And we're going to see that we have one pair. This one is a number two, two corn. We have two corns in here. Three strawberries. And so on.
for this next activity, I am going to be using this muffin tin, some acorns, I have some beans, and something to scoop up the beans. What my grandson is going to do, we're going to play a game, and we're going to be burying the acorns. We're going to put them in the little muffin tray, and then he's going to be using the beans, and we're going to bury the acorns. Super fun activity, you all. For this next activity, we made this cute little candy corn people. It's a paper plate. We used some paints. We, the middle one, we just left the white circle. Then we painted orange, and then this outer part was yellow. So we made these cute little candy corns. And what we're going to do with them, I'm going to put some stickers with letters and my grandson is going to form his name. For this next activity, we are going to be sorting some leaves by color. I'm using a package of leaves from the dollar store. I didn't have any brown leaves in the package, so I cut some leaves, some brown leaves out of construction paper. So we're going to sort by color, brown, orange, yellow, green, and so on. If you don't have a package of leaves from the dollar store, you can always go outside and find some leaves and use that. I'm going to include this printable if you want to use this, have your child color the leaves, then you can cut them and then your child can sort the leaves by color. For this activity, we are tracing some letters using sprinkles, a tray we already had, and we're using the little candy corn people that we made and we are just going to trace some letters. I put together two sensory bins for my grandson to just play and have fun, just with things that we already had here around the house. I always like to include Play-Doh in our activities for the week. I went ahead and put together a tray with some cookie cutters, rolling pins, some Play-Doh. This Play-Doh was our, the Play-Doh that we used for our Christmas video. It is still so fresh. I really, really like that. So just fun activities with Play-Doh, making pumpkins and leaves, acorns, just having fun. I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.